Yeah. 
Okay, we have one more play. If anyone wants to take responsibility for organizing the group, it's entitled uh, Nimai's Childhood Past Nobody's Nobody's interested. All right. No problem, we have another play. Okay, so today we want you to form yourselves into groups. It can be the same groups you had last time. Those of you who are observing us, you're welcome to participate. This will be very exciting, interesting, dramatic. So, Ben, form yourselves into groups so I can see the different groups. And each group leader, raise your hand. Three or four people. And join another group for today. Okay. So, we're going to start with the mode of ignorance. The mode of ignorance is darkness, indolence, sleep, depression, procrastination. You know what procrastination is? It is putting off for tomorrow what you can do today. Accepting, rejecting things based upon sense gratification. And also, as the saying goes, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow you may die. Okay, and uh, Dhar Dharma told me it was very authentic because I never been inside a bar. So. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> okay, so we got our mode of passion people. So the mode of passion is born of unlimited desires. As Krishna says, I gave you so much wealth. Do I have today? So much more do I have tomorrow? Do I get tomorrow? He is my enemy. I have come. And generally, Shatri is the result of passion. But the problem with the mode of goodness, it conditions one to the sense of happiness rather than to transcendental goodness. And one thinks everything is beautiful, the whole world is nice, and you don't take up spiritual life. Unless the devotee comes knocking on your door and reminds you of your purpose of life. So sometimes it's easier to preach to someone in the mode of passion or ignorance than someone in the mode of goodness. Someone in the mode of goodness. Very nice play. Very nice play. I mean, the spiritual shantaras, where one is just appreciating the absolute without any service. 
Now, generally, the residents of Vrindavan who are in Shantaras also have a mixture of service. Like if you take the trees in Vrindavan, they were Shantaras. But there's a mixture of Dasharas too. It's not just pure Shantaras. Because they're serving Krishna with their fruits, with the shade, and other ways. So they were illustrating pure Shanta where there are no services like Maya Some of the Acharyas describe that pure Shanta Ras is not quite on the platform of Bhakti. And they don't use the Some of the Acharyas don't include it with the five Rasas. They just say there's four. And the name of the show was What's Your Karma? <laughs> and we were interviewing an abortionist. And he was condemned and you know, to not see the light of day for the abortions as he has committed. It's very interesting drama. It took about half an hour. This is your host, Om Yamaraj. What's your karma? How there's no way to overcome bad karma except by Krishna consciousness. Good karma does not balance out bad karma. You know all of that story of King Riga? Riga. He was, a, he was a king and he gave a lot of cows and charity to Brahmanas. But one cow wandered back into his herd and that cow he gave to another Brahman. So because the cow had been given twice to two Brahmanas, they got angry and he had bad karma. So all the good karma he had did not get rid of the bad karma. So therefore he had to take birth as a what? Lizard in a whale. And he got saved by Krishna. So that's okay. I wouldn't mind having a little bad karma in his head. But by the uh, even Namabhas chanting, one gets rid of bad karma, good karma, all Chaitanya did the same thing. Chaitanya would go to the Ganges River and he would spit on the Brahmins because they were saying the Ganges Mantra. He would put little things in the ladies' hair, the stickers in the ladies' hair. And uh, they would all go home to complain to Jagannath Mishra and Sachimata. And when they got home, uh, Jagannath Mishra got very angry at the Chaitanya and Nimai. But Nimai came back from the other path and he said, I have not gone to the Ganges today. And he put ink marks all over his body so it appeared that he just come from school. So Jagannath Mishra couldn't be angry. Wonderful pastime about Sally. Then we lose it. And then again we can slip down into the lower species of life. Like a story of Bart Maharaj. 
He became attached to a deer. Is that everybody? Did we get all the groups? One more group. And then we'll end. And after that we'll all go swimming like fish. <laughs>